Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're asking the question, what is it that they want to do versus what it is that they will do? So sometimes we're confronted with a situation at love or at work or in, a, in any given area of our lives where we know that that person wants to do something. Ultimately, they act in a way that is not in accordance with, with what we thought they would do. This reading is for those of you who need clarity with regard to that. Um, this is more for what will happen in the future as opposed to what has happened, but you can use it to understand what has happened in the past as well. Okay, so we have uh, Dripsy decks in front of us today. We have deck one, deck two, deck three, deck four, and deck five. So go ahead and make your selection, and I'm going to go right into the reading. So for those of you who have chosen this deck here, the question we're asking today is what is it that they want to do and what is it that they will do? So this is what they want to do. And this is what they will do. Oops. Okay, I've gotten three cards here and I'm going to go with this one. Because it feels very clear to me that these are the cards. What I'm seeing here is that they would like to do the right thing. They want to do the right thing, but they want to also do something that they consider to be a gamble. They feel that they could lose out if they do the right thing. They want to do the right thing, but they also want to take the gamble in which they know that there may be a loss. Um, it's important for them to do the right thing here. And so, but if they do the right thing, they will lose out. Okay, so they're aware of this. So the fact that they want to do the right thing is what's making them sad here. Okay, they, they will actually take an action towards you to do something which they believe is a positive thing. Um, they may, you know, in fact, buy you a gift. They may send you a gift or they may do something to you that makes you uh, feel as if, they've given you a gift they may be there for you in a time of need they may actually uh, show up when they when you when you need them the most and I feel that they will be shy about this I feel that the way in which they'll go about this will be very shy so it's here's not somebody here's going to come forth and um, say to you I, I love you I want to be with you if you're thinking about this in the context of love this is somebody who's more or less going to just be there for you from a distance when you need them. Um, they're going to, you know, give you a gift from time to time or show that they love you in some other way uh, than uh, by just saying that they love you. And they're going to feel quite shy about it. So they're not going to move on from feeling shy about this. For those of you who are not asking about love, but you're asking about uh, any other situation here, uh where you're wondering what the person's going to do. Let's just say this is an organization. So this is an organization that wants to do the right thing and recognizes that they will um, face a loss if they do this thing. But actually what they ultimately do is that they choose to um, do something for you that is, in fact, to your benefit. And they are looking out for you during the time at which they you believe that it might be um, in, in, it might be an adversity to, towards you. Um, what I mean is that they're looking out for you uh, instead of um, uh, placing this loss on you. So they are looking out for your interests. And I believe that that's about as far as it will go. So that is, uh, yeah, and they may recommend you um, or they may see you in a better light as a result of that. If it's a situation like a family situation or something like this, I believe once again, ultimately, what they want to do is the right thing, even at a, the cost of something, the cost of the relationship, the cost of something uh, that is uh, your, uh, the cost of something for you. But at the end of the day, they will be kind to you. They will be there for you when you need them. And they will actually see you in your innocence and you know, there will be some kind of, um, I don't want to say it's a cohesion. I don't want to say it's a coming to together, but I do see them being there for you when you need them. And um, 
it doesn't mean that they stay there. It doesn't mean that they come to stay. It just means that they are there when you need them. And uh, you may receive some news from them or something from them which you are not expecting, which is which actually brings some joy to you or joy to your heart. Basically, this person wants to do the right thing. They will do a little bit more than they, they plan to do. Uh, but it won't be you know, them coming forth and uh, doing anything more than that. Ultimately, uh, you are here alone uh, remembering and feeling um, and wondering about what actually has happened here, okay? So um, it's more kind of clear in terms of a love situation. So that was um, the answer for you, those of you who've chosen this deck here. And for those of you who've chosen this one here, the question we're asking is, what is it that they want to do and what is it that they will do? Okay, here I see a situation where somebody wants to be a lover of yours or they want to um, charm you and they would like a new beginning, okay? It's a situation where this person would like to be your lover. They'd like to to sweep you off your feet, okay? So if for those of you who are not looking at this in terms of love, it's somebody who wants to actually be kind to you, wants to offer you their friendship, wants to, in fact, be there for you, wants to show you how much they like you, how much they appreciate you. And um, what I feel that they would like is is to have a new beginning with you, is to have a so, something with you, like a friendship. And what I'm seeing here is what will they do? Well, they will certainly think about this and they will show their care in some way. They will show they care, their care, but they may choose to be a professional with you. So this may be a situation where there's somebody here uh, I'm going to talk about this in terms of love first, and then we'll move on to talk about it um, um, in, in in you know in other words. So here's somebody who is probably probably likes you and probably wants to have some kind of relationship with you, and but actually um, they've given much. They what they need to do is think about it, and they're going to be professional with you. They're going to maintain a professional relationship with you. They may have wanted to have a fling or an affair with you or some kind of romance with you, but they are are not going to be able to do that. They're just going to be thinking about you, but thinking about that, they may uh, it may bother them. They may think about writing a letter to you. They may wonder about how they could express this to you how they can express that to you but actually at the end of the day they're going to maintain a professional distance uh, from you regardless of what your relationship is they're going to be if it's your neighbor who likes you and they want to you know uh, serenade you here uh, I think it's more likely that they're going to continue being having this neighborly friend friendliness with you and not really coming forth and, and expressing their their feelings I do feel, however, that you will have good times together, that there will be cheerfulness, that you may go out for a drink, that you may actually have some good times together, that you may have some laughs together. You will share lightness. You will share uh, good times uh, with each other. So there is that. You may be friendly with each other. You may enjoy each other's company. You may actually um, have some jokes that you laugh at together. And uh, that is what that is. Now, if you're in a situation where... Uh, this is a, a professional situation or a love situation. No, not a love situation, sorry. A prof if this is a, a professional situation or family situation or anything else, there is somebody who actually wants a new beginning with you and they are willing to show you how they uh, how much they care about you or what it is that their true feelings are. They're willing to do this and their true feelings are pleasant and they would like a new beginning. But what I'm he seeing here is that they give it much thought and they decide to actually maintain a formality with you rather. And they are still able to have a good time with you. They're still able to to enjoy uh, the times that they have with you. So it's not, in some ways, they are actually showing you their, their care. They are actually coming forth and showing you uh, what they what they feel about you but I feel like at first they would take a long time to think about it and at first they will 
maintain some kind of professionalism or they will maintain, maintain some kind of distance. It wouldn't be that they will come forth and just, you know, show their love or show their appreciation for you in a very uh, uh, open manner, wearing their heart on their sleeve. Uh, they're not going to do that. They're actually going to still enjoy the good times with you. They're still going to celebrate times with you. They're going to uh, enjoy your company. But um, it's like they want to keep those feelings to themselves and they, they're not going to tell you what they really think about you. And um, they are going to remain um, in this formal way towards you. So if this is a friend that you're talking, you're thinking about and um, you're asking me, what is this formal? What are you talking about, this formal thing? Well, if this is a friend that you're asking about, they would like to be far, far more open and upfront with you uh, regarding whatever it is that they need to be. But actually what they're going to choose to do is maintain that friendly uh, kind of, um, yeah, this friendly maneuver with you, this friendly kind of persona, this friend friendliness. They're just going to maintain the status quo in that in that situation. If this is a uh, a family relationship, if this is your mom you're asking about, or your father or another family um member this per your family member would like to have a, a happy new beginning with you where you can actually uh, um you know talk about things freely talk about the way you feel about each other or just show that love that they want to show but they're not going to be able to do that because i feel that in this circumstance you're not you know they don't feel like you that they're able to uh because in the circumstances like um you just don't give them the chance to so they'll maintain the status quo in that uh, case but they have thought about it they will think about it. They'll maintain the status quo and they'll keep it light with you. Okay, so that's it for those of you who've chosen uh, this uh, deck here. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking today is, what is it that they want to do versus what is it that they will do? What is it that they want to do versus what it is it, what it is that they will do? Okay, so this person here would like to do the right thing and they think about it quite a lot. And um, yeah, they think about doing the right thing. They think about being the righteous person. They think about actually, um, you know, being correct. But they're also thinking about um, what it is that you have that they want. And what I see here is they're not going to be honest with you. And they're going to actually take something from you that belongs to you. They're going to take something from you. In some dreadful cases, this may actually refer to somebody who's stealing something from you. Okay. Um, this is maybe, you know, in some cases, this may be somebody who you are uh, trust or you, but you, you know, you're not really 100% sure about. And so you come to this reading to ask, well, can I trust this person or what is it that they want to do and what is it that they will do? Um, or, you know, you may be asking about a domestic servant or you may be asking about somebody that works for you. Um, or you may be asking about uh, a neighbor who you've entrusted your keys to while you're away. Well, this is somebody who's thinking about doing the right thing, but actually they're not going to do the right thing. They're actually going to take something away from you. They're actually going to steal something from you. And if it's not something material that they steal from you, um, it could be that they, they take something away from you. They hurt you in some way because here I see you being hurt ultimately and you need to recover from this, from this, what they have done. So this is not somebody to be trusted. This is not somebody, this is somebody to steer clear from because they don't have your best interests at heart. They want to do the right thing, but they're not going to be able to because their temptation leads them to do something that's not in your, in your, your well-being. If this is a love situation, uh, then here's somebody who's perhaps thinking about doing the right thing. Maybe they're married or maybe they're with somebody else and they're thinking about doing the right thing, but actually they end up having an affair with you or they end up having something with you, but ultimately it causes you pain and heartache and it, it causes you a lot of suffering, okay? Because they've taken something away from you. They've taken away your dignity. They've taken away your integrity. Uh, or at least you feel that they've taken it away, but you've lost it in the process, 
if this is a family situation, there is somebody here who once again wants to do the right thing. They're thinking about doing the right thing. But at the same time, um, they're going to hurt you in some way without realizing it. You know, they, they, this person doesn't realize that they're hurting you when they go about doing what they're doing. They just want something for themselves. And this is not necessarily stealing, as I said, but they could be, they could say, make a comment, you know, that makes them feel better about themselves. They're trying to do right by you, but they may meet with you and make a comment that makes you, that makes, that, that they think is okay. But in fact, it's robbed you of something. It makes you feel sick about yourself. It makes you feel uncertain about yourself. It makes you feel sad about what's actually going on in your life. And you feel robbed. You feel robbed of some love, of something of value has been taken away from you. Perhaps they've said something uh, to demean you or make you feel uh, less than yourself. And th this is a situation where, um, you know, if you can avoid it, then please go ahead and do that. In some cases, it's unavoidable. You need to confront the situation, in which case uh, you've been prepared, you know, to actually... Um, watch out that this is something that may happen and you can be more cautious or you can take care not to be hurt if they say something that is negative. In some cases, you may be hoping that this person uh, in love scenarios, you may be hoping that this person who you actually uh, have feelings for uh, is going to, you know, leave whoever they worth or uh, this person who's your boss is actually going to have an affair with you or, you know, your, your, your lecture or whatever. But at the end of the day, in doing so it it causes you much more heartache than you would have ever imagined um this is this may be somebody who's an official position that you've been eyeing out that you've been interested in uh that is in a position that is of um in a hierarchy that's uh, that's greater than you and you know you may they may do something to hurt you ultimately they may steal your um your information or they may steal you know if you're in an academic situation they may take something from you which is actually uh that belongs to you it's your uh copyright it's your intellectual property and um uh, that will leave you feeling rather sad about the situation. So that is what I see uh, for those of you who've chosen this one here. And I'm sorry for that those that news. I'm sure that's not what you were hoping to hear. And um, for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck here, this is the deck number four. Um, the question we're asking is, what is it that they want to do? And what is it that they will actually do here? What is it that they want to do? And what is it that they will do? Okay, so here's a person who wants to stop thinking about you. This is a person who wants to stop uh, wanting something. They want to stop desiring you. They want to stop thinking about you. They want to stop infatuating about you, uh, over you. They want to stop obsessing over you. They have had enough of that and they want to bring that to an end. Let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, so here this is quite complex, okay? Because what I see happening here is that this person, this person wants to stop thinking about you, okay? But what they actually do is that they, it seems like they invite you into their home or they invite you into a home. It doesn't necessarily mean a house. It could mean into a, themselves, into their person. So here's a person who's desiring you and they want an end of that. They want to end this longing. They want to end this waiting, Okay. There's a situation where there's a house, a journey, sadness, and an enemy. Okay, so here, I'm going to read this in, in two different parts. Basically, let's put that over, over there for a moment. Basically, what I see that they do is that they're going to invite you to come to their home, or they're going to come to visit you. They're going to journey towards you. They're going to make an effort to come in your direction, or they're going to invite you into their home. Now, one of the things that I see is that... Um, this could not be, this may also mean that they are not really, uh, you're not really meeting them in your home. This doesn't necessarily mean a house always, it could also be their inner being. Okay, so they invite you into their inner being. They allow themselves to fantasize about you. They 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 they, they fantasize with you. They, in their dreams, they travel with you. This can be a real travel or this can be travel which is just a fantasy, okay? But they bring you into their being and this brings them great sadness and it well, it, the sadness it brings them is something that makes them think that you are somebody to be feared or somebody that they need to watch out for or this is something that they need to worry about. 
So here you see a situation where they can't actually come forth and tell you what they're thinking or what they're feeling. They aren't able to do that. They don't feel that they can. But what they what they want to do is is bring you close to them. And what they try to do is they try to do this, but I feel that they have sadness. Now, the sadness may come about as a result of being rejected by you. It may come about because um, you behave towards them in a way that uh, is not what they expect you to behave to. It's not how they expect you to behave towards them. It's like um, I feel that they feel rejected, even though you don't necessarily reject them. And as a result, they they don't believe that you have a closeness to each other again. So in this situation, it's important to... Uh, be aware of how you speak to them and be aware of how you communicate with them because they are going to, they've been obsessing over you for so long now that they've been desiring you for so long that when they, when they actually take a step towards you and try to bring you closer to them here, um, they, they make a huge effort to do that. And I feel that anything that you say to them that is uh, harsh or uh, unkind or not even harsh, it's not even something that you consider harsh, maybe you ask them, well, why has it taken you so long? You know, what's taking you so long? And they see that as an affront, and they actually uh, then uh, feel really miserable and sad about this. So it's really important, because this person's very sensitive, and they've been obsessing over you for so long, they actually don't know what's real and what's not real anymore. And so this, there's a situation here where you need to actually uh, just be really very kind towards them, and very... Uh, careful with your words when you're speaking to them because you may um, give them the wrong impression um the house and the journey here as i said it may mean more than one thing it may mean that they've invited you to their home or they come to visit you at their home uh it could be that they come to visit you at your home because i've got journey and house here together but it all could also be as i mentioned that they fantasize about you that it's they take you close to their heart without you knowing about it and then they feel sad about it and then they push you away because this is a destructive mental pattern that they have going on here okay for those of you who have not chosen love and you're wondering what am i talking about here well basically there's a situation where somebody uh wants to bring an end to something and they've been wondering and longing for something uh which has something to do with you so maybe they've been longing to see you. They want to bring an end to the long distance that you have. Maybe they've been wanting to sell us something that belongs to you. They desire that. They want to bring an end to that. Um, maybe uh, there is something. Perhaps you own a house together. or Perhaps you've inherited a house together. And they're longing to get rid of this home. Um, and they want to bring an end to that. And this is something that they're waiting for. And I see here that they will take the effort or take the journey to actually try to um, do something with regard to this house. Um, and there will be sadness and it will create um, problems for you too, the, the two of you. So for those of you who are in a work situation and you're wondering, well, what is this about? Well, there is something here where somebody is desiring the end of something or the transformation of something. It may be that they want to move you from a certain position into another position, or maybe they want to simply move you to a different area, you know, get you to sit at a window or uh, move you from one table to another, move you from one department to another, move you so that you have a different view, that you have a different something else that you're looking at, not at what you are looking at at this moment. And what happens is that um, the action that they take is, is one where they... Uh, they maybe perhaps move you outside of the building or they move you to uh, a different building and it, it may cause you sadness. It may cause you um, some kind of feeling which, which you feel excluded, which you feel like you're not part of one, where you feel that the, the others had something against you in this process. And so th this, is, this is a situation here which can be read in so many different ways. And it's going to take me like I could literally spend an hour telling you all the different um, solutions here. So I don't want to go on about it because this was supposed to be a quick pick a card here. Um, and I want to try to give you as many options as you can there. I'm trying to be as general as possible so that you can take something away from this. Uh, what I'm seeing, if this is not about love, what I'm seeing is that there's somebody here wants an ending of something. OK, it's something that you actually like. It's something that you could want or could you you could desire or something that they have been longing for and what i see is that if there's something here where it has to do with uh, a building or a house or something to do with journeying something to do with traveling 
uh, and it brings sadness and and um, it brings a sort of uh, unhappy feelings and this is something that doesn't necessarily stay in this way but that it could change later on um, for those of you who have nothing to do it's nothing to do with the house or journey or something like this the house card here could refer to some something where they feel it refers to some inner workings uh, something where they they take you uh, into their confidence they take you into their trust they take you into a space which is uh, a comfortable space for them and you are tra traveling or exploring different thoughts or different ideas with regard to that but that actually leads to sadness and it leads to a kind of mistrust uh, between you so um yeah i'm sorry that's not the nicest cards to receive here but perhaps this warns you i think a lot of this has to do with the fact that this person has been wanting something and obsessing for some time here this these cards here together are not healthy they're not a healthy combination it's somebody who's um been thinking too much about a situation been obsessing too much uncertain of what they really want in this situation driven by fear driven by uh not not love not driven by what is the best for for all concerned but really wanting uh something that they think is in the best interest of themselves but it actually isn't either so the outcome of this kind of behavior this kind of energy is never really a uh a positive outcome that's it for those of you who've chosen uh this deck here so i'm what? moving on to the last one here and that's this one and we're asking what is it that they want to do and what is it that they will do okay what is it that they want to do and what is it that they will do this is what they want to do what they want to do and this is what they will do okay so this is somebody who wants to cut away the deception they want to cut away the slyness they want to cut away all that is not honest okay they want to end that they want truth, they want uh, uh, realness, they want authenticity, they want what is not lies and deception anymore. If they they are somebody who has been stalking you or visiting you online without you knowing or checking when you're online or not, or checking your, your statuses on Facebook and, um, you know, reading your Twitter or whatever it is, uh, you know, what, uh, liking all your Instagram posts but not actually being honest with you about how they feel, uh, they want to end that right now they want to come they want to end that they don't want to be in the background anymore they don't want to be deceitful anymore so for those of you um yeah i've chosen this this is what they want to do wow this is lovely so this actually flew out just now and we're never not often but but well sometimes when a card flies out when i'm reading i always put it back because i like to see if it comes out again and when it comes out again i'm just so happy because i think that it's uh it's really meant to be then so here's what they want they are hoping for good luck okay they they here's what they want they want to do uh no this they want to cut away all the negativity or all that's dishonest here and this is what they will do they will uh likely do that because they are hoping for luck okay they're hoping here for luck okay so let me clarify they may not do this in every circumstance okay but they're certainly hoping for luck and in this is the clarity this is the clarity that they're hoping for here this is the uh the realness that they want they want the the, the truth they want the blinding truth they want the they have this hope they have this huge hope and they have uh they hoping for luck okay and so what is it that they will do they are going to hope that the situation is lucky all right for them to hope this it is very likely that they will do that okay if there is this in the situation maybe this is in the situation only as they perceive it maybe you don't perceive this but they perceive this and they're going to cut that out and actually hope for the best here for those of you who are in a work situation or in a lo uh, in a family situation if this applies to just friends or any other situation it's the same the person wants to cut away anything that's dishonest in this friendship or relationship uh whether it's with a family member or whomever and they are hoping for the best 
Okay, so that's basically uh, what it is. I'm going to go ahead and just ask one question here to clarify, because here I'm just seeing that they're hoping for something, but they're not really showing me what they will do. So what is it that they will do? Aside, they are going to, the thing that they're going to do is hope for something good. Okay, but let me see if there's anything else that they're showing us. What is it that this person's going to do? What is it that this person is going to do? There it is. Oh, wow. Okay, so here we are. They're going to love. They're going to hope for the best and they're going to love. Okay, so this is a situation where this person's going to cut away any deceit, any dishonesty. Uh, they're going to cut away from this online stalking. That's just the feeling I'm getting here. That this person's been stalking you online and uh, quite likely. And they're going to be honest with you. Um, they're going to be blindingly honest with you. They're going to be hoping for the best and they're going to be loving. So this is like a really, this is really nice. This is a great reading um, because you're moving from what is negative to what's positive. And I really hope for your sakes that this is the case and that, uh, you know, there can just be love here and good luck and hoping for the best because, um, yeah, that's just the best outcome. This applies, this is the same message, you know, in love or in uh, any given situation. If it's a work situation, this is not love, this is they're going to be really nice to you they're going to be friendly they're going to create opportunities for you and they are hoping for the best they have belief in you they believe in you they're hoping for the best and they're going to be creating opportunities and they're going to be friendly and creating the perfect uh, circumstances for things to work out well so um if there's been gossip in your workplace or whatever they're going to put an end to that if this is to do with a, a family situation and there's been talk behind your back, they're going to put an end to that and there's going to be an openness uh, and honesty and they're going to be working towards positive outcome here. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I, I, you know, if it's about amongst friends and, you know, they've been uh, avoiding telling you something, they're going to be blindingly honest with you. It's going to be good for your relationship. It's going to bring uh, more love in your in your friendship. And it's going to be uh, work like a good luck charm in your in your uh, friendship because it's going to bring only that which is good in your friendship. Okay, so I think that is uh, pretty much it. And um, basically, you know, this can be applied in so many different ways. And uh, I think that it's pretty much the same. There's going to be this person's what they're going to do is that they're going to make things better here okay they're going to make things better and the way in which they're going to do that is by putting away what is not good and what well, that is their intention to anyway this is what they want to do they want to get rid of what is not good and this is what they want to do and um i mean this is what they are going to do and that is just fantastic yeah very often you know uh i think that the energy is shifting because a few months ago, one might have read this as, uh, you know, the other way around. This is what they want to do, uh, especially in love situations. This is what they want to do, but this is what they're going to be doing. Or, you know, or this is what they're going to be doing. They're going to be hiding their feelings. They're not going to come forth. They're not going to speak their heart, their truth in their heart. They're not going to be honest uh, about it. And I think that the energy has definitely shifted. And for those of you who have chosen uh, this deck here, you have somebody who's coming forth, who's going to be loving towards you and who's actually going to be kind and uh, it's, you know, um, going to be creating opportunities for you. So thank you for those of you who've chosen um, this uh, uh, reading here. And thank you for those of you who've come by to, to visit my channel today. And thank you to all my subscribers. You are wonderful. And to all the people who watch my videos regularly and to all the wonderful people that comment and have such wonderful things to say. Thank you so very much. Okay, very much love to you all and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.